Greetings teachers and fellow friends, my name is Ethan Kue. Today I will be presenting me and my teammate Luix Wong's home science project. We did three experiments. They are number one, floating needle, which is a water experiment. Number two, rising water, a fire experiment. And finally, an air experiment called the levitating card. This is the first experiment. Watch carefully. As you can see, the needle is floating on the water. This is because the molecules of water on the surface form a sort of film which is able to support a light object. This force which keeps the molecules together is called surface tension. Surface tension is formed because the molecules on the surface of the water bind together more strongly since they do not have other molecules to attract from above. Now for the next experiment, rising water, watch the next clip. The result is, the water rises up into the glass. In order to explain this, we need to understand what is needed for a fire to ignite and how. Three elements are needed for a fire to ignite. They are heat, flammable substance, and oxygen. When all three elements are present, a chemical chain reaction will occur, causing a fire. If any one of the three elements is blocked, then the fire will die down. When the glass is placed over the candle, the flame burns up the oxygen. The water pushed up by the pressure of the air outside enters the jar, taking up the space left by the oxygen. But it cannot fill the jar completely because the rest of the air, which is mostly nitrogen, still takes up space inside. Since one of its elements, oxygen, is gone, the fire dies down. See that the water only takes up about a fifth of the glass. This is because 21%, about a fifth of the air, is made up of oxygen, while nitrogen takes up 78% of the air. The remaining 1% consists of other gases. Last but not least, we have the levitating card experiment. Roll the clip. The air pressure exerted on the card underneath is greater than the weight of the water inside the glass. This is why the card sustains the water and the water does not spill out. Now, we have finally reached the conclusion. The conclusions for the different experiments are... The surface tension of the water creates a membrane which can contain a small quantity of itself in a little round drop. Fire needs oxygen to ignite. Three. Air pressure is exerted in all directions, as well as from the bottom to the top. This is our home science project. Hope you like it. Goodbye and happy MCO!